everyone we are back with our data structures in apex series and we are going to see another interesting topic that is what is stack and how we can implement a stack in apex so let's start first question what is stack so stack is a linear data structure that follows the principle of last in first out uh, the last in first out principle is the element which is inserted the last will be removed first so if there is if there is a deletion uh, step the element that was inserted the last will be deleted first uh, and stack has only one end whereas the queue which we will discuss in further videos about queue queue has two ends front and rear and stack has only one end that is the top and it uh, it contains only one pointer top pointer pointing to the topmost element of the stack the topmost element of the stack would be the last element which was inserted uh, in other words, we can say that a stack can be defined as a container in which insertion and deletion can be done from one end known as the top of the stack. Uh, how we can implement stack? Stacks can be implemented using a linked list, an array or uh, what we call a, as a list in Apex. So here is a pictorial representation of stack. So let's say we have uh, one element inserted in a stack. Now we want to insert two. So two will be at the top of the stack. Then we insert three, three will be at the top and so on. And whatever element you insert will, will be at the top of the stack. Now you want to pop the element. So you, uh, you do stack dot pop and it will remove the first element that is present on the stack. The first element was six and six was also the last element that was inserted on the stack. Hence the principle last in first out uh, now uh, you do another pop operation, 5 will be popped, 4 will be popped and so on. So this was a pictorial representation of the push and the pop operation. Now the time complexities of different stack methods. So the push uh, method will take big O of 1 time complexity because it's a constant time operation. You are pushing the element at the end of the uh, stack. Popping the element will also take big O of 1 because you will remove the element from the end of the stack. Now uh, the top uh, stack dot top stack dot top returns the topmost element of the stack. It is also a constant time operation and we will see in the code how it, it is a constant time. Now uh, like is empty stack dot is empty. It will check whether stack contains any element or not. It is also a constant time. Now uh, let's say you want to search an element in a stack. So searching uh, will take, uh, we will use the linear search and it will take big O of n time complexity. Now let's see a stack implementation in Apex now. So I've created a class stack in Apex and within that class I have uh, defined a list of string that is stack. So you can make this data type as generic as well. For simplicity, I have taken it as string. So as I told you, stack will contain uh, three, four major operations that is push, pop, is empty and top. So what does the push oper operation do? The push operation will append or add an element to the stack. So we are adding an element to the list and it is a constant time operation. The pop method will pop the or remove the element uh, the last element from the stack. So we are uh, in the pop operation. We'll check if the length of stack is greater than zero. Then pop the last element. Otherwise, return null. So we'll also return the popped element. Now we are checking if the stack is empty or not. Uh, it's simple. Uh, we'll do this dot stack dot size is equal equal to zero. Then uh, uh, the topmost element of a stack. The topmost element uh, it will be the last element. So we can get the length of the uh, stack minus one uh, since it's an list in Apex. And then we will use the get method of the list and we'll return the topmost element. Then the length of the stack, uh, which can be, which we can get from this dot stack dot size. So this was a basic implementation of stack in Apex. Now, let me go back to my slide. Now let's do some lead code questions. Now, whatever we have learned, we have to implement that, that, that as well. So whatever we have learned, we have to implement that as well. So we will do two lead code questions, lead code 20 and lead code 2390. So let's start with lead code 20. Uh, I'm on the lead code screen. Given a string S containing just these characters, 
पेरेंथेसिस लेफ्ट ब्रैकेट पेरेंथेसिस राइट ब्रैकेट करली करली लेफ्ट ब्रैकेट करली ब्रेसिस राइट ब्रैकेट एंड स्क्वायर ब्रैकेट स्क्वायर लेफ्ट एंड स्क्वायर राइट ब्रैकेट वी हैव टू चेक वेदर द इनपुट स्ट्रिंग इज वैलिड और नॉट एंड दे हैव गिवन एज द कंडीशंस ओनली इफ दीज थ्री कंडीशंस आर सेटिस्फाइड वी सेटिस्फाइड वी कैन कॉल अ स्ट्रिंग एज वैलिड ओपन करेक्टर्स मस्ट बी क्लोज बाय द सेम टाइप ऑफ ब्रैकेट्स ओपन ब्रैकेट्स मस्ट बी क्लोज इन द करेक्ट ऑर्डर Every closed bracket has a corresponding open bracket of the same type. So, okay, let's see. Now we have this uh, parenthesis left bracket, and we have the parenthesis right bracket next to it. So that means this is correct. Let's take this operation. Uh, we have the parenthesis left bracket, then the closing. We have its closing as parenthesis right bracket. Then we have the square bracket, closing square uh, bracket left right, and curly braces left and right. so this is also valid and in the example number 3 we have a parenthesis left bracket and a closing square bracket so the parenthesis left bracket uh, is not getting closed by its right bracket similar for the square bracket so this is not a correct uh, parenthesis or uh, this is not a correct valid string so we have to return false if we think about it we can use the stack we can add elements in the stack and then we can pop the element we can uh, the pop, uh, if we pop the element it will give us the last um, character and we will check if this is e the last character is equal to the second last character and we can uh, determine if this is a valid string or not so this is uh, so let's check out the code first so okay what i am doing i am initializing a stack here and uh, this is my stack and i have taken the string expression s is equals to uh, parenthesis left and right bracket now what i am doing i am uh, using a for loop and i have done string s dot split with empty space so if you have checked my last video uh, the string class in apex i have uh, explained this function this is a very important function to implement data structures in apex so do watch my last video so now uh, i am checking if i is equal equal to 0 then i am pushing the first character to the stack because uh, i for the first character i want it to be added to the stack first before we can check uh, okay so now uh, this left parenth this left parenthesis bracket is added to the stack now our uh, i is not equal to 0 it will go in the else statement now i am checking if the current character is the closing one if it is a closing bracket yes it is a closing bracket then ch check if string dot length is less than 1 that means if it is that means there are no element if there are no elements in the stack and we get a closing bracket that means the string is not valid or we will check if the string dot top the top will return us the last element in the stack as i showed you so the st uh, string dot top will return as the left parenthesis bracket and we will check if it is not equal to the left parenthesis bracket since we got a right parenthesis bracket if these condition is uh, true then return false otherwise we can pop the left element from the stack and similarly uh, this condition i have implemented for all the other type of brackets like the square bracket and the curly bracket and if Uh, conditions does not match i am pushing it to the uh, stack so this is a really cool uh, way to check whether the input string is valid or not and uh, let me just copy paste this code and let's run it in the developer console okay so i am here i have implemented a stack and this is the logic so this should return us true debug only and boom it has returned us true okay now i'll take a invalid string let's say i take this this should return us false and boom we uh, return us false it returned us false let us take example number 2 as well it is a little complex to see if our code is working correctly it should return as true and boom 
so our code is working as expected now lead code 2390 removing stars from a string okay so you are given a string s which contains uh, stars uh, the string contains some stars and what we have to do so whenever we encounter a star we have to remove the last element of it so let's say this is the star we got this should remove t this star should remove t and then we will have this star the second star now since t was already already removed by this star so now we should remove one element to the left that is e similarly for this star we will remove d because we will have, we'll have to remove the element to the left of it so whatever string we are left we are left with l e c o e because we removed l e uh, we removed this part and we removed this part d e so we will left with l e c o e so this uh, we'll have to remove like the characters which are corresponding to the stars so, so the star can also you can uh, think of the star as a backspace so you write something you then put backspace so backspace whatever what backspace does it deletes that character so the, this is what you have to do so um, you can use a stack here to solve this question this is a very interesting question so let's see what how we can solve it okay so we have taken this uh, now uh, we will do a string dot split and we will then iterate over the characters of the list uh, we can use this to iterate over the characters now we'll check if the current char is not equal to star if it is not equal to star then just push the element to the stack and if it is equal to star uh, then pop it because you know that uh, the pop element removes the last element so we know that uh, the element that is next to the star will get removed so that is like an amazing property of the stack then uh, whatever elements are left in the stack we will iterate over those and we will do a string dot pop and then we will add that to the result string when then we will do a result dot reverse so okay let me copy paste it and let me open the developer console and let me click on execute so the answer is l e c o e and the, it is the same as l e c o e whatever what we have given okay let me run this and let's see take, let me copy this example and see if it works for this so it should return us empty string debug only and answer is empty string boom okay so this uh, we have also solved lead code 2390 so that's all for today's session and hope you liked this like this video i'm going to continue with the data, data structures in apex series and i add more videos to it so do subscribe to my channel for more such videos thanks everyone